Good morning, Cyber Traders. Happy Monday. Welcome back on this July 15th. Hope everyone had a great weekend. Good to see you all. Brian, Phil, good to see you, Bill. Donna, Grant, Mark, good to see you. Louis, all right, Lita, good to see you all. All right, hope everybody's enjoying this summer. Well, guess what? It's back to work. Um, looks like we got a couple of things that are moving. I was actually pretty busy on Saturday. I did a... Uh, a uh, multi-speaker webinar on with MetaStock, and it was pretty big, a uh, pretty big successful uh, day. You know, I was telling everybody, it's just great to see that there are so many people that are very committed to trading and to be there. You know, that that's the ultimate goal. I mean, listen, I, it was a great day. Who wants to spend all day on a Saturday, you know, and enjoy it? But you know what? I always tell everybody, the best time to learn to trade is now. Not in September, October, November. You know that we're doing the, um, we have our uh, our Trader Summit live here on site, and we like to do it because that's that's when you should be ready to trade. It's like you know, all right, it's time to play. You know, right now it's spring training. You know, if it's baseball or football, is where you learn. So definitely take the time. Not that you can't learn at that time, but you might want to learn at the best times of the uh, of the year to trade. But um, but there was a couple of things that are moving. Actually, there's this one stock right now, the CAPR that we're looking at right now. I know some of you guys have been watching it. I just see a big order right now just got nailed at uh, 650. Looks like the stock is uh, doing pretty well. There was a big buyer out there. There was another seller at 630. But when it came down to that big buyer at around 594, I'm looking here on level four. This thing really kind of took off right there. So anyway, I know you guys are doing really good with this CAPR. We'll come back and talk about it. Uh, but first, I want to go and talk about what happened on Friday because let me tell you something. I took a big hit on um, Snapchat on Friday, and I just want to kind of bring this up because it was a very good lesson learned. Uh, listen, things sometimes work our way, sometimes they don't. And do we make money? We sure do. But you know what the goal is? How to control losses. That is the biggest thing you need to learn about cyber traversity. And, you know, I haven't worked so hard uh, to make money back on a day trade like Friday. So anyway, I, I had a pretty I had a pretty substantial um, position in Snap and just out of nowhere, it just dropped. I thought it was pretty good. It had a little bit of Fausto flag here around nine o'clock. I know a lot of us were looking at 1610 because on a swing trade, Snapchat has been doing pretty well. You know, it was at ten dollars. And, you know, and what kills me is it was great news on it. Um Goldman Sachs uh, upgraded it to say it'd be more of an eighteen dollars stock, which you know buy a rumor sell a news, which is kind of rare. And I talked a lot about it. I said, you know what, that's actually pretty good. But sure enough, what happened? The thing just tanked, and I couldn't even get out of it um, until all the way down to fifteen eighty. Now it's not as bad as we look at some of them, but it just kind of stinks to start, you know, negative. And uh, but I made a made it back. There were a lot of uh, stocks I had to chip away and just literally make it back. Little by little, ECI, I mean, um, CEI, let me bring that up. Ah. Go. All right, so that one out of nowhere, I don't know where this came up, but the, the C, oh, my uh, computer is uh, not acting up. But anyway, this thing just out of nowhere, 11 o'clock, just did, you know, what we did the other day. We trade on Monday. Look, it did it on Friday. Thing went from, Three dollars, all the way to about five dollars, and had and and you know what? A lot of us didn't find it and realize it until it was at four, and the thing just took off. So that one worked out pretty well. You want to hear something pretty scary that happened to me on the stock? I actually went out there. I didn't want to chase it. I didn't buy him as many shares as I want um, that I want. I usually buy. Unfortunately, I added an extra zero instead of taking out a zero, and. Uh, it literally scared the heck out of me because I was, I was exposed a lot more than I want to. And sure enough, the thing took off, so it kind of worked out in my favor. I'm like, holy crap, I'm trying to do half my position. I just traded 10 times that. So, um, but anyway, the thing just took off. That was, a, that was probably one of our, our best ones on Friday. We also had a couple other ones. The, OS, um, the OSTK was actually pretty good, too. That one went from 1780 all the way to 1960. That one overstocked it pretty well. And then the SB... GX. Ah. My wireless mouse is like not cooperating with me. Is 
kind of did that to Bobby. All right, so let me bring up another one. Uh, I mean, we got that other one there. Uh, all right, so anyway, let's go back and uh, let's talk about what is moving this morning because there are a couple of stocks that are moving pretty nicely. First of all, the uh, the CAPR, I know it's still up. The thing's taking off really nicely, like I told you. Uh, the buyers came out. You could see right around 8 o'clock, we looked at it. It was on the watch list this morning. As in, if you could look in the pre-market, we had the CAPR. And let me just copy and paste this in the trading room. These are the ones that we had in there. That's the one I posted around 8.08 this morning. We had the CAPR, the CLDC, and the NTGN. So some of them are still moving, but they're still looking pretty good. So anyway, this one's doing great. If you jumped in right when the class started at 9 o'clock, you're up about 80 cents as of right now. You're doing pretty awesome. I told you the buyers are getting, the, the sellers are getting executed. So these big orders out there, and they got nailed. So that's a good sign. That, listen, how do stocks go up? Supply and demand. It's a funny thing that, but when I was at, when I was doing the Metastock event, you know, everyone's like, wow, is it really like, this? Is, is it that's all you got to do? Yeah. And they're like, well, what's the hard part about trading? Hitting the button. That's the hardest thing to do. Hitting the button and taking losses. But anyway, CAPR is doing great for us. So congratulations on a lot of us out there that are trading it. But the day's not over. There's a couple other ones. Listen, I want to keep an eye on this, uh, this CLDC. That was another one I found this morning. But it's, she's breaking lower lows. Cheap little stock. Listen, 23% up. Million shares rated uh, already traded. Look on the right-hand side over here on the level three. You can see there's some 10,000 share orders out there to sell. A couple of 20,000 share buyers. So it looks like the stock trades a lot of volume. It's going to take some time to make it move. By the way, there's a big seller at $7 um, on the CAPR. Just give you a heads up, okay, guys? I think that guy's getting executed, too. It's going to bust right out. Shoot, looks like it did. CAPR. Guy got done. Yep, guy got done, looks like. All right. So anyway, um, what else I have over here? ADXS is another one out there that made the watch list up 8%. I liked it because it traded 100,000 shares, and I also liked it because the stock was a $10 stock and uh, took a huge beating. So I don't know, maybe a little bit of dead cat bounce. You know I'm a big fan of that. DRZO. Uh, this was probably the last one to put on the watch list. You know, it's funny, but a lot of those stocks that got hit on Friday – uh, there were a lot of stocks, a lot of uh, energy stocks got crushed. It looks like they're coming back, like the uh, like the UEC and the UUUU. A lot of fuel stocks, all of them took a big hit. And and, and you know what? I want to throw the CEI back on the watch. Keep an eye on this thing. This thing has been fun for us. Just remember, she just she's got great short squeezes in it, but um, just be very careful on it because when this thing just starts getting volatile. It, it, it kind of gets a little kind of scary to trade it. So you got to be a little bit more advanced. So keep an eye on that one. All right. Uh, ben said he made about 20 cents on CAPR. We give him a round of applause. It's always nice to start with a profit in the morning. Wayne also made about 8 cents and 13 cents. Good for you. That's all it's all about. Love to hear those numbers. Love to hear when people are already, already profitable when the market even starts up. All right. So that pretty much does it. There we have all our stock picks. Uh, our watch list. Now, remember, I know we have a lot of new members that are starting today. Today is Monday. So for all the new traders that are here um, in the trading room, please, a couple of things I just want to address. First of all, this is not a teaching room, okay? This is a trading room. If you like what you see and you want to learn how to do this the way we do it, uh, just make sure you talk to your education advisor. I'm just going to bring back the CAPR just to show you what's moving on that one. Talk to Education Advisor. Hopefully you watch the videos this, uh, this weekend and you kind of learn the lingo. Don't worry about being confused. Part of the game. Um, just remember who taught you. That's what it's all about. So if you like what you see, you know, uh, talk to our advisors. I tell you and we'll show you how to teach you how to do it. Just remember, guys, um, this is not a, this is a game, but this is a serious game. There's money on the line. So anything that happens in this room, you'll see it's a team effort. All right? So just look, listen, and learn. And fellow traders, like we always say, see something, say something. So if you see anything good that's moving in the market, we always know there's new stocks that do pop up. So uh, we'll go out there and see it once the market opens up. All right. Steve made about 27 cents on CAPR. Give him a round of applause. There you go, Steve. All right, guys. Good luck today. We'll see you back at 2.30. Oh, and one last thing before we go. Just remember this week, a couple of things. Traders Talk is tomorrow. 
Josh is back on vacation. Good to see you, Josh. Breaking news. <laughs> Josh is back. All right. Hopefully he had his fun. Missed a couple of stocks there, Josh. That's okay. We, we all know every day is a new trading day. All right. And he'll be doing that on uh, Tuesday. And then, um, once again, we got the big, big event that's coming up, Wealth 365. And then class is going to be starting also uh, this week. All right. New cycle of courses. Good luck, everyone. Happy trading, everybody.